When I first tried cocaine, the thought was, you know, my friends are doing it, it can't be that bad. I felt full of life, energized, I felt invincible. One of the big misconceptions is that, you know, drug addicts are homeless, they live under a bridge, they push a, a street car, they don't shower. I worked in finance in New York and then in Hong Kong for a period of about 10 years. And alcohol and drugs are very much a part of the culture. Uh, so, you know, you worked very hard during the day and you went out and partied hard. And I used cocaine to be able to wake up and be able to function at work. Nobody talked about it and it was okay. I come from a very traditional Asian family, high expectations to succeed, whether it's academically or in my career. Or, and it was a way for me to sort of let loose. I'd have stashes in the office or in my car. There was an air of arrogance uh, and ego that like, I'm never gonna be as bad as addicts. Like, I'm never gonna be homeless, I'm never gonna be violent, never gonna be arrested. You know, I'd woken up with a sort of total loss of memory in a hospital bed surrounded by policemen with criminal charges against me. And it was a very, very scary thing because I never truly believed that I would get to that point. There have been people I've met in treatment who've tried to prove it to themselves and who haven't made it back, who've gone out and, and died. And that's the reality of this disease, that it kills. I need to earn that trust back. I can't just be handed it to me. I think the more that that was handed to me, the easier it was for me to use and not want to look at or change anything about my life. I think patience is very important. Try not to be judgmental about it because it is a disease and there is hope.